Hello friends, welcome to Insights Hacking Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about weekly current affairs, week number 28. In case if you miss out previous weekly current issues, you can find in the playlist named as weekly issues. By the way, in today's video, we are going to discuss about following five topics. They are Snow Leopard, Corruption Perception Index, Economic Community of West African States, Nitrogen Hypoxia. It is very, very popular. It was uh, related to USA. Okay, it's a type of death sentence. Then new Ramses sites. Tell me, guys, total number of Ramses sites, how many present in India? Okay, put your answer in the comment section. Now, let's see snow leopards. Recently, we conducted snow leopard survey. Now, we are going to discuss about who conducted this survey and how many total number of snow leopards and what are the conservative programs we commenced regarding the snow leopard so far, both nationally as well as globally. We are going to check snow leopard population assessment in India. Okay, this program, it is the first ever scientific exercise and according to this particular exercise, snow leopard population is 718 and finding of this program, okay, India is home to around 1 by 6 to 1 by 9th of the global population of the snow leopards and you know, snow leopards, they can really camouflage in their climate, okay, that means even you can't identify, they are very difficult to identify in a snowy conditions and they are popularly known as ghosts of the mountains because of their incredible nature of camouflage and they are very large Asian cats. They are classified under Panthera anshia in the family Philidae. Actually, these are leopards, jaguar, tiger and uh, cheetah lion. They are five together known as big cats. Okay. Now, let us see. The estimate population in different states in India, highest number of snow leopards present in Ladakh, Uttarakhand because you know snow leopard generally present in the high altitudes especially in the northern and uh, I mean eastern and northern Himalayas. Next indicator, they are the indicator of the health of the mountain ecosystem because they are the top predators, they are top predators in the food chain. Big cats, snow leopards, royal Bengal tiger, Asiatic lion, Indian leopards, clouded leopards, these are the, these are the you know like five, one of the five big cats and these are the different types of these leopards as well. Next protection status, IUCN category vulnerable sites appendix 1, wildlife protection act it covers under schedule 1. Actually government of India identified there are 21 species we have to watch out okay that means they are critically endangered out of that snow leopard also you know, like included in this category. Now we'll, we are going to check the conserva conservation methods or conservation efforts project snow leopards. So this was launched by government of India in 2009 and the main objective is to safeguard and conserve the population of snow leopards and their habitats by promoting conservation through participatory policies and action. So that this policy launched in 2009. If you remember, in the same year 2009, even the Right to Education Act was also enacted. Okay, tell me guys, Right to Education, this act according to which article? And uh, that article, that means article related to right to education, that article was added through which constitution amendment? Answer this, 2020, Secure Himalaya project, it is by the, you know, like Global Environment Facility and UN Development Program, they both, they both set up this project. It is the India's first snow leopard conservation center. This was started in Uttarakhand, in Uttarakashi, in Uttarakhand. Then Himalayan Sankrashk. It is a community volunteer program underlying community. That means people are encouraged to involve in this program which started in 2020. Next, first national protocol 2019. It was launched on snow leopard population assessment and monitoring of the snow leopard population. Next, international one, Bishkek Declaration 2013. According to this declaration, the main goal of protecting of snow leopard is around at least 20 snow leopard landscape. That means wherever these snow leopards are present, protecting these snow leopards, okay, uh, across the globe, around 20 snow leopards landscape identified and they are, they must be protected and along with the protection of these ecosystems and we have to increase the strength of the snow leopards by 2020 and these efforts resulted to establishment of global snow leopard and ecosystem protection program. Global Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Protection Program. It, this program was started on 23rd October. Since 2014, okay, this 2014, 23rd October onwards, every year we are following this as this day as an International Snow Leopard Day. Because on that day we started this initiative. 
that is global snow leopard and ecosystem protection program next according to this program it is a high level intergovernmental alliance and it covers around 12 snow leopard range countries of course india is also one of this country the objective is creating awareness and understanding about the value of snow leopards for the ecosystem this is regarding the snow leopard one next topic number two corruption perception index this is regarding the prevalence of corruption in various countries okay this report is generally published by transparency international it gives a ranking based on the level of corruption perception in a particular country generally this uh, western european countries and uh, norwegian countries okay especially scandinavian countries they are performing very well because of their mature democracy in this index whereas especially african nation sub saharan nations they are performing very poor because of the destabilized democracies in those countries now let's see why it is in news transparency international they release the corruption perception index regarding this index this ranks countries by the perceived level of public sector corruption remember public sector corruption here you have to understand okay the top three countries in terms of least corruption they are denmark finland new zealand they got the highest ranking in terms of the least corruption next western european countries and eastern european countries they are the top performing countries in terms of the in terms of the corruption perception the most corrupted countries sub saharan african countries that the lowest with an average of 33 score only because in these countries democracy as well as the rule of law they, they, are, they are under pressure okay next india india's overall score 39 and india position 93 previously india's rank was 85 now our rank is 93 that means we are going down it is not a good sign in a democratic country next third one here we are going to discuss about group of west african countries the purpose of this group okay is having a more economic integration having a common currency and a great cooperation between the uh, between these countries regarding the trade and uh, commerce and all these things first we'll try to understand what is the name of this group this group name is economic community of west african states economic community of west african states now why we are discussing few countries they decided to exit from this grouping those countries are Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger. If you look at these three countries, they are not running by the democratically elected government. They are running by military. So there is no surprise regarding this decision outcomes. These countries announced that they are going to withdraw okay, immediately from the West African bloc ECOWAS. Regarding this bloc, it was started in 1975 according to the Lagos Treaty. Next, vision, borderless region and in this borderless region in these countries, this block is going to promote the principles of democracy rule of law and good governance these are the present members and out of these present members three countries decided to exit from this grouping aim single common currency and largest trading block in regarding the industry transport telecommunication energy in these areas they are going to cooperate with each other headquarters abuja nigeria next is going to be very interesting thing Normally, you know, students, when a persons are committing very heinous crimes, when a grave mistakes, obviously the judiciary in those countries they give death penalty to those people. There is no surprise in that. In countries like India, hanging will be used popularly. In countries like China, shooting, shooting by fire rangers are you know like one of the methods. And in countries like uh, Islamic nations, they are you know like beheaded. Then in countries like America, generally they use they give lethal injection. But this one, for the first time, Alabama, uh, this, you know, like Alabama state in America, they tried giving, you know, like nitrogen gas. Generally, in our atmosphere also, we have a lot of nitrogen components. But here, when 100% nitrogen given to an individual, obviously that individual respiratory system will face a difficulty uh, in, you know, like performing crucial metabolic processes because we require oxygen to perform our metabolic process to for oxidation in mitochondria when you remove that oxygen when you give pure only nitrogen then obviously person will die this process is known as nitrogen asphyxiation for the first time this was uh, tested in in america and this opened up various debates on the death penalty what kind of death penalty what method we should use it 
okay what are the rights to the people who are subjected to this death penalty and all these things let's see a man has been executed in alabama using nitrogen gas it was a first ever and putting us at front of death penalty debate this is known as nitrogen hypoxia or nitrogen asphyxiation hypoxia means low amount of oxygen high concentration of nitrogen replaces the oxygen it disables the respiratory system of a person and cause the ultimate death of a person critics it violates the constitutional bans on cruel punishment because this process generally it lasts around 20 to 25 minutes and the person will experience those pain or you know like those kind of uh, uh, you know like last moments of life for those 20 25 minutes and few people are suggesting that it is so painful okay and of course few people say that there is nothing wrong in giving such kind of pain what is your point students do you support the death penalty or do you oppose if you support just tell me your reasons and oppose also just give your reasons and successfully the first stage in usa it was tested and it took around 22 minutes to complete the process alabama is going to be the third stage authorized to use but first to execute and the other states which authorized are oklahoma and mississippi are the ones which authorized and according to amnesty international around 55 countries they have the death sentence in their statute books death sentence by hanging it is the most prevalent one especially in the former british colonies like india and so many commonwealth countries execution by firing squad china beheading saudi arabia and lethal injection mainly in the america next new ramses sites you know five new ramses sites added in india with this addition total number of ramses sites in india now counted as 8080 very very important total ramses sites in india are 80 now in this context highest number of ramses sites are in tamil nadu five ramses sites they were announced by the ministry of environment forest and climate change in 2024 these are the five ramses sites they are the anka samudra birds conservation center karnataka and aganshini eshwari karnataka magadi kere conservation reserves karnataka karaivetti bird sanctuary tamil nadu longwood shola reserve forest tamil nadu these are the five and wetlands means now why we have to protect these uh, wetlands what is this ramsar site mean ramsar sites are the internationally identified wetlands okay so this ramsar convention was made in 1971 it started implemented in 1975 wetland means wetland means it presents between the territory territorial ecosystem as well as a water ecosystem when these two ecosystem you know like uh, merge to each other there you know like that the transition phase where you will get the wetlands wetland is a ecotone where two habitats merge in in a condition like ecotone obviously we will observe a lot of biodiversity because both plants and animals which are present in both the territorial as well as the aquatic system both will be present in this kind of ecotone that effect is known as edge effect so wetlands they are the ecosystem saturated with water either seasonally or permanently generally this wetland includes mangrove marsh rivers lakes deltas flood plains and all these things okay and ramsar sites ramsar convention it was it was uh, you know like done in 1971 started implemented from 1975 1975 ramsar convention and the ramsar convention works in collaboration with the following organizations like international union for conservation of nature iucn bird life international international water management institute wet wild fowl and wetland trust wetland international and all these organizations now let's see yesterday's video question yesterday's question is about who is the first non-indian to receive Bharat Ratna? khan abdul ghafur khan he was popularly known as frontier gandhi as well next today's video questions we'll see which of the following adds nitrogen to the soil excretion of urea by animals burning of coal by man death of vegetation which one adds nitrogen to the soil second with reference to k-shaped recovery consider the following statements it occurs when different parts of the economy recovers at different rates after a recession it is generally caused by disparities disparities that existed before the recession pick the right one next where is hazrat nizamuddin oliya Dar darga recently seen in the news where this location present okay now okay students
we reach to the end of this video in this particular video we discussed about a detailed analysis regarding the weekly current affairs week number 28 thanks for watching our video have a great day jai hind